Alright, this is Superman for the Nintendo 64. This was a request by Marshall the Irish, and I never really played this game in my childhood. It was pretty much a big joke even when it came out, and it's gone down in history as one of the worst video games of all time. It's pretty much on every magazine shortlist of awful video games, and I think it's been the topper in quite a few. I think Screw Attack's uh, countdown has this as number one worst game ever. So this was a new experience for me, and I... Uh, You'll see how bad it sucks in a few seconds here. Alright, now first of all, the plot of this game, I guess, is that Lex Luthor has kidnapped your friends, who are, I guess, Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane, and I don't know who the third guy is. I don't, Dick Cheney or something? I don't know. And he's going to throw him into this time warp. And don't you love how Lois Lane is just, like, posing for a magazine photo or something? So, let's crack open this barrel of shit. I guess the way you're gonna get your friends out of this uh, virtual world is by flying through hoops. Not sure how that saves them, but you know, that was my favorite uh, issue of the comic book is when Superman went frame after frame of jumping through hoops. It's my personal favorite. And I guess my first beef with this game is the controls. Um, you so much as tap that fucking joystick, he's gonna go at a 90 degree angle from wherever you were. it will make you miss these rings, and you have to get, you can only miss like four of them. And you see right there, I just lost. I mean, how much bullshit is that? If you want to save your friends, solve my maze. Isn't a maze something like, you start off with one path and it branches into many subpaths and you have to choose the one correct path? I don't think a maze is when, you know, you have one path and it's designated for you telling you where to go. I don't think that's quite, quite fits the definition of maze. So here, I lose again. The game is just fucking stupid. It's not even fun. You know what I think probably happened is that whoever these developers were had, like, a really shitty, uh, like, racing game, like F-Zero or something, where you had to go through an obstacle courses. Yeah, and it obviously was too shitty to release, but they had the Superman license lying around, so they thought, well, let's just replace the, you know, <laughs> the vehicle with Superman and try to sell it. And the result is an overall really shitty game. I'm not sure if this is worse than Dragon's Lair, but it certainly gives it a run for the money. I don't know. Pick your poison. You're, you're in for a shitty game no matter which one you choose. So here, I'm doing actually fairly well here. I think I might actually get through the whole thing. I'm not not positive. But this is really hard to do, honestly. The, the controls just make it near impossible. And look at how much time I have left. I barely have any time to do the next stage after this. Alright, so here's the end. And now, you have six seconds to stop those cars. And he walks at a snail's pace. I don't know how you can possibly do it. What a fucking load of shit. No I mean... I mean, really. I'm not really one for swearing. I'm sorry about that outburst, but this is just ridiculous. Now, I'm not sure what... I think I'm trying to drown him in death in this scene here. I think, at this point, I just wanted it to end. And I can't drown him, so... I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just jumping in and out of the water like a trout. This game... Just do yourself a favor, and if you've gone this long without playing it, don't don't bother downloading the ROM. Certainly don't buy it. I mean, this is this is rightfully one of the worst games of all time. I I, I do think this is worse than Dragon's Lair because I once you get a feel for Dragon's Lair, at least you can you know you can get far in it. But this shit, this is just fucking impossible, and it's not even fun. So quit? Am I sure? Yes. Don't play it. The end.